Have you been inside a jail? It's surreal when you walk into a jail. The mood in that environment is heavy. Uh, pressure cooker comes to mind. Why does it still exist? Is it seen as a punishment? It's a convenient way to sort of deal with bigger social problems. Just lock them up, throw away the key. Why does jail exist? <laughs> what is it? It's a great question. So jails exist in large measure, I think, um, to as an expedient way to ensure uh, the maintenance of civil society. Certainly there are certain individuals who commit very serious violent offenses who have to be separated from society in order to maintain a certain level of safety for everybody involved. But I think the problem with incarceration as an answer in every case is that you can actually uh, um, increase the chance of recidivism and criminality if you uh, over rely on incarceration and incarcerate people who shouldn't be incarcerated in the first place. The more you entrench them in the criminal element, the more likely it is they're going to continue with, with their criminal behavior. Look, here, here's the bottom line. In the Western world, we tend to, particularly North America, we over-incarcerate. We, over, we rely way too much on incarceration. Uh, but the reality is that talking about um, dealing with criminals in a way that doesn't involve incarceration isn't a popular uh, subject at the political level. Politicians uh, gain a lot of traction by taking a tough on crime approach and lock them up and throw away the key approach. Have you been inside a jail? Yes. What's been, it like? I've been, I think everybody should, I think, I think every elementary school child in this province should as part of a community, a government community initiative, be required to visit a jail. Why is that? It's a, um, a real eye opener in terms of our criminal justice system, its impact on people. Um, just the environment, it's surreal when you walk into a jail. People are living on, in very, very cramped quarters, uh, in ranges, uh, there's concrete on the floors, there's cinder, painted cinder block walls, all of the furniture is nailed, or sorry, nailed or, or screwed to the floor, um, and people are living in, in very, very cramped quarters uh, under tremendous stress. Many people would find it shocking to see that that's how people uh, who get caught up in the criminal justice system end up. And they understand the importance of, of the value of freedom and what's at stake and how easily your freedom and your liberty can be taken away from you. Is it like in the movies? Depending on the movie that you watch or the television show that you watch, but... Violent, dirty... It's, first of all, it, they tend to be um, dirty. The mood in that environment is heavy. Uh, pressure cooker comes to mind. Um, your clients who are living in that environment typically speak about the constant acts of aggression, microaggressions and major aggressions that they suffer. It's not just um, the risk of physical violence, there's a lot of um, bullying type of behavior. And they're having to deal with their total loss of liberty and waiting, all, enduring all that while they're waiting for a trial. Right? And, and anybody who's been charged with an offense, you know, it's kind of like waiting for a surgery. What's going to happen? Are the doctor's going to be successful? What's my life going to be like after my surgery? Uh, what happens if it doesn't go right? Uh, what happens if it goes wrong? What are my kids going to do? What, am I, what is my wife going to do? What is my mom and dad uh, going to think? It's very much the same. It's like you 
can't take your mind off what's going to happen at that trial. And you're having to wait for that while enduring that tremendous loss of liberty. Jails, jails are the reason, you know, why I continue to do what I do. The jails, the jails don't work. By and large, they do not work. All the bad stuff about jail, why does it still exist? Is it seen as a punishment? It's a pure punishment. We are still fixated uh, on the notion that punishment, the imposition of a punishment, will correct a, an objectionable behavior, a criminal behavior. When the reality is, Jay, that the vast majority of people who get, become charged and end up being convicted and sentenced, the vast majority of them are struggling. They're struggling with mental health issues. They're struggling with addiction issues. They're struggling um, with behavioral problems that are the result of years of personal circumstances that are really unfortunate. And, and these are people, very many of whom don't have significant family or community support. And it's a convenient way to sort of deal with bigger social problems. Just lock them up, throw away the key. But the vast majority of people who occupy prisons, I think, in this country um, need long-term assistance in terms of rehabilitation, meaningful rehabilitation to address all kinds of different problems. But again, that requires the infusion of funding into government programs that assist people with addiction, mental health, uh, psychological uh, employment, counseling, that kind of thing. Why, is, why are recidivism rates high? Like if you go to prison, shouldn't it scare the crap out of you? Why are you, are you doing things to go back in there? Well, I think that there's, a, there's also a recognition that, you know, for some people they become institutionalized. And um, for the vast majority of people, a stint in jail is going to scare them straight. And that's going to, they're going to do everything possible to never return there. It's a traumatic experience, but the reality is that for some people, um, because of their circumstances in life, uh, they become institutionalized. And the more that you incarcerate them longer, the more they become used to that institutionalized environment and they actually gravitate back to it. Jail as a deterrent is, uh, in many circumstances, not a deterrent. Uh, it depends on a multitude of factors. But, um, I mean, how do, you, how do you use jail to deter the homeless drug addict who's just looking for their next hit? Um, for that person, uh, jail is a place to, to stay. Whether it offers any deterrence from future criminal behavior is certainly up for debate, significant debate.